Good morning everyone. This is the first Photoshop tutorial for Lovely Living. Um, I'm going to show you a few basic um, collages that you can create for either your Project Life album or you can create them to print up and frame or put them in your photo album um, or even create them to just use online on Facebook and those sort of things. Collages are really, really simple to do. Um, I'm going to show you with some pre-made templates that I've made. Um, in another video, I will show you how to make your own templates, which is very, very simple. What you need to do, the easiest way to um, create collages is to gather all of your photos in the one space. So I've created an album called Photoshop Tutorial and I've put the images that I want to use inside that album. Uh, it just makes it much, much easier to work with. And then what you need to do is you need to uh, select the photos that you want to use for the collage. I use a Mac, so I'm not really sure what you would do for a PC. Um, but on a Mac, you need to select the first image you want to use. And then to select multiple images, you hold down Command and select multiple images. And to open those up in Photoshop, you just right click and open with Photoshop. And that will open up, open them all in your Photoshop. I've already done that. So what it does is it opens up each individual photo in a separate tab. So it makes it easy to access. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, choose our select tool, our move tool over here. And to, in order to move that photo into your collage, the easiest way to do that is just to hold down on the image. We want to drag it across and we want to go into our first collage. Now, as you can see, this collage um, has four photos. So I'm going to put a photo up here and a photo in each of the spaces down here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be creating clipping masks. And what clipping masks do is they will actually contain that photo within that frame. Um, I'll show you with the very, very first one. What we're going to do first is we're going to rename this layer. This layer is our image. We're going to rename it so that we know what image it is. So you just want to double click on that, um, the words there that say layer one, and I'm going to rename this Cooper. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this right up to the top and sit it above the top box. I want that to go inside that gray box. And to do that, we click on the image and make sure the image is selected. We right click and we press create clipping mask. Now you haven't actually seen any changes here, but you will see a change when we expand the photo. So to expand the photo, what you wanna do is you want to hold down your shift key, you want to click on the corner and you want to drag the image out, still holding the shift key. So you drag that image right out, position it up into the corner and you just wanna make it just a little bit bigger than that box. And to commit that change, you need to press enter. Now you can, as you can see where the box is, that image goes right outside that gray box there. But because we've created a clipping mask, it will sit behind that frame and it's essentially contained in that gray box. Now we can move the image up, we can move it down, and it will still stay contained inside this black gray box behind. And all you need to do is just move it around and place it wherever you would like it to be. Just making sure that um, the edges stay just a little bit outside that box, just to give it a nice clean finish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the side here, and I wanna put an image into this left box. So in order to do that, I need to click um, on the left box and I will just do exactly the same thing. I'll select an image. We want to click on it and we want to drag it across. And we're going to just drop it down on top of that box. And what that's going to do is that's going to put that layer on top of that left box. Again, we want to change the name of that image just to make it easier to find later on. And I'm gonna change that to max. Again, we wanna create a clipping mask. Now I'm just going to show you, without creating the clipping mask, when we actually expand that photo, 
you'll see that it goes across the top of all of those boxes. And I'm just going to Command Z that to move it back to the, to the original space. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a clipping mask. So again, right click on that image. Oh, sorry, we need to select our Move tool up there. And we want to right click, Create Clipping Mask. And that's created the clipping mask. Again, you can, right now you can't see any difference in that image. But when we expand it out, as you can see, the image goes behind those frames, whereas before it went over the top. So the clipping mask just contains it behind those frames into that gray box. Now, expanding again, you want to hold your shift key, click on the corner and drag your image out or drag your image back in. And to commit the change, all we need to do is press enter and that will commit the change. And then you can just move um, the image around wherever you like using either your mouse or your up and down, left and right buttons. And we're going to do the same for the middle one. So we want to select the center box and we want to grab another image. And we click, make sure our move tool is selected. We click on the image and hold it down and drag it across up to the top until it opens that box again. And there we go. And again, creating a clipping mask, right click, create clipping mask. And again, holding your shift key down, grabbing the corner and holding your mouse button down and dragging it out. And you just want to make sure it's just a tiny, tiny little bit bigger. I mean, you can, if you really want to zoom into that photo, um, which I probably will just to you know you can zoom in as much as you like as long as your image is a really good quality image um, or you can um, zoom out so um, just get it wherever you would like it to be and to commit the change you just press enter and you've committed the change and we're going to do the final image and we just want to grab another image and we'll grab this image and again, holding your mouse key down, dragging it across all the way up to the top, over to the collage and dropping it in. Oh, and I should have selected the right one there, but you can easily just drag your layer down, hold the layer, drag it down and sit it on top of that right image there. And we're going to create a clipping mask, right click, create clipping mask. And we're just going to drag it open and drag it until it fits in there. I want this to be a little bit closer, so I'm just going to make it nice and big there to fill the frame. And there you have your collage. So that's a basic collage in an 8x8 eight eight collage template. Um, and that can be just inserted into um, an 8x8 eight eight uh, page protector for your project life or you can print it up and put it in a frame um, or use it online you can use it any way you like now to save this all we need to do is go file and you want to save it as a high quality image so the best way to save it is as a jpeg press save as and we want to change it down here. The format, that is a Photoshop file. So in order to print it, we need it to be a, um, a JPEG file. So, sorry, we need to press save as. Sorry. You wanna change that to be a JPEG file and that will save it as a JPEG file for you to print. So we can save it, whatever file name you would like to save it as, day at dreamworld. It's going to save to the desktop and you just click save and this basically is um, what quality would you like to save the photo for because it's print you want to save it to the absolute maximum and just press ok and when you open up your desktop your image will be saved there 
and there's your collage and you can get that printed um it's the eight by eights you you can either get them printed at the photo studio and you will need to cut them down or you can print them at home on an a4 piece of um, photo paper and that's it um, I will do another uh, tutorial on how to do um, the other collages that I have um, I have a collage with journaling and also a really cute circle collage and I'll teach you how to change the sizes and the colors of all these cute little spots so thank you for watching